I've got uh, Victor Echo 3, Papa Charlie, Papa. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm getting slower at writing these things down, Roger. Papa Charlie Papa, I got a copy. Papa Charlie Papa, I got a copy. Yeah, certain, and uh, I uh, wasn't paying attention, I guess, for a couple of seconds. Uh, nice to hear you in there again this afternoon. It's uh, Rob up here in uh, Timberton, Ontario. Okay, so. Roger, Roger, Rob, what have you been up to, sir? Roger, Rob, what have you been up to, sir? Oh, well, you know, uh, working and keeping busy and... Uh, uh, fighting the uh, the heat, and now we're uh, we're down to uh, very uh, cool temperatures, but nice and sunny today. Roger, perfect signal as uh, always. Uh, just uh, a beautiful uh, two and a half dB dynamic range signal, Roger. Two and a half dB dynamic range signal, Roger. QSL, I'm running my uh, Kenwood uh, TS850 with a uh, Kenwood MC80 uh, desk mic. And uh, got the compressor set at three, and the mic gain also set about three. So uh, my typical setup, uh, uh, even uh, with the different mics, it's uh, pretty much always the same setup. Yes, so. uh, Roger. Now, uh, what was your antenna system? Roger. Now, uh, what was your antenna system? I am using today my uh, Hustler uh, Four BTV trapped and vertical. Ah, uh, Roger. Milford. <laughs> Milford cut me off again right in the middle of that. But I switched over to uh, uh, Rochester, so I should still have a, a good coffee on you. What's my signal up your way? What's my signal up your way? Uh, right now, uh, you're down to about a 5 by 7, 5 by 7. You were up to uh, about uh, 5 over 9, but it uh, seems to be a bit of QSB uh, setting in, uh, I guess, uh, early later on in the afternoon, QSL. Roger, Roger. Now, have you noticed that, uh, like six o'clock, does this band seem to get a lot better? Seem to get a lot better. Well, I think typically this time of year that uh, evenings uh, the band stretches out and uh, becomes a lot more active for sure. And uh, uh, of course, uh, next weekend being field day, I guess will be the real test of all the bands. Uh, Roger. Now, how will you be participating in field day? Participating in field day. I usually uh, run my club call sign and uh, operate uh, from my home QTH here, but I operate, uh, I have an enclosed a vent trailer that I, I use and uh, set up my station and that, uh, running off batteries, and I usually set up uh, dedicated antennas just for field day. This year, I may uh, may take that trailer and uh, go into the local provincial park here and operate for a few hours. Uh, roger that, roger that. Well, I think... Uh you know, um, field days are a great uh, ham radio tradition that uh, just, uh, you know, it's uh, like uh, one of those uh, hanging out by the seat of your pants deals, Roger. The seat of your pants deals, Roger. Yeah, just, just, oh, yeah I've been uh, operating in field day on and off since the, uh, I guess, since before I was licensed. My dad was a ham and uh, used to go out to uh, field day with him as, as a young young youngster and enjoyed it and uh, carried on and, uh, you know, operated uh, under my own call sign back in the 80s, of course, uh, with uh, other groups and uh, enjoyed it uh, throughout the years. And the last few years, I have my own club call sign now, which is the E3 India Hotel Romeo in here in Ham Radio Club, and uh, we've been using that for about the last, uh, I guess this will be uh, year four, we've been using that, and uh, uh, you know, we always uh, enjoy uh, getting it on the air for a few hours at least, anyway, QSL. Roger, Roger. Now, did you say you had a uh, trailer or something uh, set up to uh, for fuel day? Set up to uh, for fuel day? Yeah, I have a, uh, an enclosed uh, cargo trailer that, that I have set up. Uh, with a uh, built-in desk, and uh, and uh, I've got uh, uh, three H24 uh, antenna mounts. Uh, I've got three or four of them around the, uh, the perimeter at the roof line uh, that I can put different uh, mobile antennas on if I choose to do so. Or I have uh, some uh, fiberglass uh, uh, sectional poles that I that I put up, and uh, I have a G5 IV Junior that I I, uh, I have used at different uh, different occasions uh, uh, up on the pole. I put about 20 feet of pole up and use it on uh, 40 and 20. It seems to work pretty well. 
Roger, and uh, you're uh, you're running your 7300 uh, with that. 7300 uh, with that. Uh, negative, no, uh, no icons in, uh, in my QTH here. Uh, all uh, Kenwood here. I'm uh, running a Kenwood uh, TS850 uh, currently. Roger, Roger. I had note of that, but uh, I was thinking that you uh, had uh, at one time a 7300. But you always beautiful audio. I never know what you're running, but you always sound great. What you're running, but you always sound great. Yeah, sure, so, well, I, in my shack here today, I've got the Kenwood TS850, and on the other desk, uh, not turned on right now, I've got a Kenwood uh, TS520, which is an old uh, Kenwood hybrid rig from the 70s uh, with uh, vacuum tube uh, uh, finals and so forth. It works quite well, and then I've also got a uh, Kenwood uh, TS120. Roger that, roger that. Sound beautiful. So uh, if you want to hear that audio, that great audio, uh, just uh, go to YouTube and do a call in a search for KC9VKV, and uh, that'll take you to your QSOVLog page. You know the route. Uh, you'll be looking for my group air check 61220. Roger. Check 61220. Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, thanks very much for uh, being there and doing what you do, Jim. You help a lot of uh, hams uh, get uh, things uh, set up and, and sounding great. And uh, thanks very much uh, for letting me in this afternoon. And uh, we'll let you get going back to some other stations there, 7-3, and uh, good afternoon. Uh, KC9, VKV, VE3, PCP. Roger, Roger, Rob. Three's at Wester. Stay warm up in the up in Canada. Good to hear from you. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QS of Eli Gannett. Uh, we just have room for one more air check. If uh, somebody wants to uh, check in, this is KC9 VKV listening.